This is the new setup. Check it out. It's pretty similar to what I had before, but instead of a cooler, I have the DeWalt rolling toolbox. It was about 50 bucks from Home Depot. I wanted something with wheels so I could not struggle as much carrying a bunch of stuff. I can just wheel it down to the launch, making my life 10 times easier. And it it's a little bit taller, so I'm sitting up a bit higher, which is gonna make this a lot more comfortable. And it came with this cool tray right here. So I just have this strapped down with some bungees and I have pliers, and scissors, clippers. My net fits perfectly right in the right in the handle right here. So it won't move around. But yeah, this is the first time I'm, I'm using this setup. I'll let you know throughout the day how it's going, but I have a good feeling about this. If you've been watching my other videos, this might look familiar. There's a nice grass line, a lot of vegetation ahead of me. It stretches down this whole bank, and I really, really want to get a top water fish. First cast, 7.30 a.m. October 10th. Air temperature is about 60 degrees. It's feeling pretty nice. The water in these grassy areas is so clear. So I made sure to use a natural color frog. There's one. Oh God, this is only 30 pound braid. Oh my gosh, he's buried, he's buried. Okay, no net needed. There we go, wow. Oh no, my paddle, it's all right, it floats. Right. No way, and the frog came out in the net. I didn't even have to unhook this fish. That's a nice bass. All right, man, what are you guys eating? Can't tell. That is the first topwater fish caught on this channel. Nice, we've been here for a half hour, so it didn't take too long. That is such a good feeling to get your first fish like that of the day. I have to spray, man, there's so many mosquitoes. He missed it. I saw him just jump right out of the water for that one. It's interesting, I paused that for like 30 seconds while I was putting on my bug spray. That was cool seeing him jump out of the water like that. It was a decent sized fish too. We know they're in here. We know they like the frog. Just gotta keep grinding. Oh my gosh, I felt tension. It might have been the lily pad. Oh man. So I've missed two blow ups on top water, but I guess that's to be expected. I can't hook them all. Super close to me. I keep missing these fish. The maiden voyage of the toolbox seat was a success so far. I don't want to speak too soon. It's a little bit more tippy. Than my cooler because I am sitting up higher. But 
I've gotten used to it, so it's not that bad. This is a random bag of soft plastics. No idea what the brands are or anything like that. This is a beaver tail I'm going to use. There you have it. It's fun. I need a I need to get a heavier weight though. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, he's buried. No, 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 are you on? Oh my gosh. Where is this fish? I think he came off. I don't see a fish. Oh no, he's still on there. He's still there. Almost fell in. There he is. Wow. That was awkward. But we got him. Look, it's like my line is looped around all the grass. Oh my god, he, he choked it. Choked it. Man. There. Got him. It was pretty deep in there, but I think he'll be okay. Yeah, he's not bleeding. Wasn't in the gills. Awesome. Sorry, buddy. That was a really, really awkward fight. It's just amazing that I threw a frog all over this and I didn't get any hits. As soon as you punch through that grass, They hit it. Oh my god, man. <laughs> I'm gonna fall. Yeah, see, if I had a heavier weight, I could get through a lot of this stuff. So I'm trying to find gaps in the grass. So I can actually make it through. I need to settle down. That was so awesome. I'm all jittery. You know, I I know I know quite a bit about bass fishing, but I don't know everything. And I haven't caught fish on every lure out there. So it still gets exciting for me when I catch bass, especially when I'm using a technique I don't always use, and this is one of them. Now, if you're still watching this video, which I hope you are, you didn't see the hours of fishing I've done today where I was throwing a spinnerbait, I was throwing a wacky rig Sanko, I threw a crankbait. Maybe I included the footage, maybe I didn't, but I didn't get any other bass on those lures. Well, I'm going to trust the WindFinder app now more than AccuWeather. Windfinder said we would have like 8 to 10 mile per hour winds, max gusts of like 23. And I'm feeling it now, baby. My arms are burning. Oh, it's spinning me. Oh, I want my Rice Krispie treat. Oh. Let's dig, let's dig. Go as fast as you can. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Man, if you stop for a second, it starts to push you back. All right, well, I'm tired. I just paddled all the way to Narnia. <laughs> it took me about 20, 25 minutes into the wind, so my arms are burning right now. Oh my god. Oh. 
This is a lot thicker grass than I had expected. So we need to keep moving down, but it's nice to not have to paddle that much anymore. That's it for me. It's too windy. 12.45, so I stay a little bit longer than I wanted to. That's because we pulled out that fish at the end there, but it's time to go.